the hands of players yeah. at an event like We're E3, big right? fans too. I mean, yeah. I 100% completed the first game uh, twice. Nice. So we wanted to make sure we got the special sauce right, and I think we've done it. We've had a couple of hardcore Crackdown gamers come through already, Dead. and they've said emphatically, you guys have nailed this. So oh, we're pretty happy. Good. Did you get all the orbs, yeah? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> all of them. Take. All of them. It took a long time. The last one always takes the it's longest. always the last one. Yeah, the always. last one's That's a doozy. Right. Absolutely. Right, so let's roll this gameplay. I want to see some uh, Crackdown 3 gameplay here on the monitor. Here we go. So talk us through this, gents. I want to hear from you about what we're seeing. Uh, and how this relates to what people can play here at E3. So yesterday you saw a, a short clip of a playthrough, but this is actually one of my playthroughs. Right. So this was one of my highest scoring playthroughs. At the end of our show floor demo, you get a rating, you get five, you know, out of five orbs. This is a five orb playthrough, about 26,000 points. One of the highest we've seen. I'm curious to see if people on the show floor can All beat right. it. Stop showing off. <laughs> yeah. It is, it is my game. <laughs> Hashtag humblebrag right there. <laughs> but tell me more about that. So you're actually doing kind of a competition on the booth here, Exactly. Right? So this is our skills for kills challenge. You can see the timer up in the top left. Yep. You have 10 minutes. And so it's all about collecting orbs, about using the weapons to create chaos, find the bad guys, kill them, uh, mess with the gang boss uh, organizations and the things that they care about in the world and do that as, as fast and as uh, as crazy as you can to get the highest score. All right, so immediately I can see that the, you're collecting some orbs in here, which which I love. It just speaks to the, the old school crackdown fan in yeah. me so much. How much fun is it like work, be working on orbs, placing orbs, chaining them together? <laughs> it must be amazing. It is. It's, it's so much fun. Um, and... Right. Uh, orbs were there to kind of get players on the rooftops and get them exploring vertically. And you know this this franchise is known for its verticality. Yeah. Um, and our city is not only uh, more than twice as large, it just in terms of raw footprint, but our tallest building is almost twice as tall as the tallest building in the original Crackdown. So we have way more places to put orbs. All right. Now you're getting skills in exchange for kills as well, right? You're leveling yes. up this agent. Tell us about that. How does it work? So you'll see. So what I just did there, I was punching that that plunger. So that belongs to one of the crime bosses. So that okay. belongs to a crime boss that's responsible for the chemical manufacturing. Doing that pisses him off. It screws with his production. It slows down his production. If I do that enough, he'll actually retaliate. He'll send troops after me. And then if I can continue to deal with his troops, I might even be able to pull him out in person and fight him directly. And those fights are dynamic. They can happen anywhere based on where I was when I really pissed him off. About everything you do earns orbs. So you'll see every time I kill a bad guy, when I punch that plunger, I got all of those orbs. So you're constantly leveling up as you do that. All right, tell us about the visual style we're seeing here, right? The, 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 the graphics and the, the style that you're going for with Crackdown. Yeah, so the first Crackdown games had a very distinct style. Yeah. And they helped to pioneer the what we call the visual graphic novel style uh, that you see now. And the team at Sumo Digital has done such an amazing job of bringing that style forward, but with the beauty of 4K, it's allowed us to do so much more. The agents in particular, especially now, at this point, Clint's got his super suit on. He's leveled up quite a bit here. So you can see the absolute amount of detail in these suits. It's, it's phenomenal. Nice. Um, it feels authentically cracked down but to your yeah. point it's like it's taken to the next level you're yep. using the power of the console just now and xbox one x as well yep. how much extra power has that given you oh to really amp things up to step up the boom even further an immense <laughs> amount i mean we you know we we play a lot and we have to play we play back and forth both in 1080 and in 4k and the difference is when you make that jump to 4k it's undeniable it is not a thing where you need them side by side or anything like that you can absolutely tell the difference all right the other thing that's amazing for us is we're able to create a city that's twice the size of the first game whoa uh, and the tower that's in the center of our map is twice as tall as the tower from the first game so it's not only allowed us to go outwards with our expansion but it's allowed us to go up even higher because Verticality drives this game. Phenomenal. Well, we've just seen I'm some ridiculous weapons going <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. I'm sorry, and I was so balls. distracted. And, and, and the beach balls. Bo yeah, and beach balls as well. Everything in our world is physical. So we have this monorail, these monorail lines that run all across the city. There's a crime, a crime boss that owns the monorail stations and the lines. These crane bosses are very enterpreneur enterprising. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you piss him off enough, he'll bring in a turret that'll actually follow you through the world on that rail. But Everything's physical, so you can actually pull those carriages off the rails and throw them at people. And when you destroy them, right now they produce all those beach balls. That was a, a physics test object for us that we ended up just kind of falling in love with, so we left it in. Now this this weapon right now, you were telling me about this yesterday. What's this <laughs> <Yeah>. weapon called? <laughs> so this is the Singularity Gun. Right. So this creates a black hole, and because everything is physical and cracked down, it can suck in all the objects, suck in enemies, 
weapons, it can suck in cars, and then it sends them blasting outward. Or monorails. Or monorail carriages. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and so I'll do it again here, and you can see just how much fun you can have with that weapon as things are exploding yeah. around you. Um, and again, like Crackdown's this game where we give the players tools, and then yeah. they create their own chaos, they create their own path through this game, and that makes it completely unique to them, and that's just one of the ways you can do it now. Now, one of the, one of the things I really remember about the first Crackdown was it felt like one of the first truly open-world playgrounds that you could really yeah. go anywhere and do anything you wanted to. And even from this demo, I'm seeing this is a huge area that you're exploring here. Like, give us a sense of that open world and the freedom that it gives you. Yeah, I mean, so we opened up a pretty large area of the map for E3. We wanted right. people to be able to play around. Because these agents move so fast and jump so far, we wanted to make sure they had lots of space to play around in. So we've opened up an area that's, that's pretty large overall, but this is also one of the first areas in the game. So what you're seeing here is sort of the uh, economically challenged people of the, of the map. And as you move your way around the map, you're going to encounter chem plants, and you're going to encounter, we've got a casino type district with a full working racetrack on it, and you're going to encounter high rises and farms. There's, there's an intense amount of just sheer diversity in the visuals that you see as you work your way around the map. So it's really nice just to be able to have that. We're showing a small section here, but it's a small section, and even as you see, there's a lot of real estate in this small section of our map. Yeah, yeah. And, and you mentioned the kind of open-ended nature of Crackdown. Yeah. For us, it was really important to preserve that. So the entire city is available from the beginning. It's all about taking down Terra Nova, this criminal empire. The goal is to get to the Kingpin. You can go for the Kingpin the moment you jump into the game if you want. It's going to nice. be really, really hard because yeah. you won't have leveled up. Uh, the Kingpin will have all of their reinforcements from the rest of the empire, but you can people you find want. a way to do it. They will. Yeah. Yeah. We're excited to see how people figure it out. Crackdown is really a, one of the pioneers of open world gaming. Like, what have you learned from other open world games since that you've been able to implement in Crackdown 3? Well, I think it goes back to just actually being an open world game. Yeah. I think you know so many open world games, and look, I love open world games, but many of them, you know, you have mission start points, and if you leave the mission area, you fail, and they kind of uh, close the player in and try to tell you how you can play. But in Crackdown, there is no mission failure. Only, the only failure is death. You can't fail from leaving the mission area. All of our missions are essentially running at the same time because the mission is simply to dismantle Terra Nova any way you can. All right. Now, a, a memory I have again of Crackdown, and I'm sure all the Xbox fans and Crackdown fans out there share, is scaling the agency tower. You talked yeah. about the verticality earlier. Yeah. Like, just how high does this city go? <laughs> so what's that, what is that peak that you You remember that first agency tower? Yeah. The tower that we have in the center of our map is twice as tall what? as that agency tower was. Right. So it's going to take some work to get to the top, but we absolutely have. We have unsurpassed verticality. You've never seen anything like it. It's amazing. Nice. That's that's going to be one of the first things I try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you need to level up your agent, right? Yeah. So tell us about some of the ways you can. Well, it's the uh, same kind of thing, skills. though, right? With the first game, everybody said, well, you've got to be leveled up to get up the tower. Yeah. And then we had people who, as a level one agent, scaled the tower just to show they could do it. They oh, find ways to do it, and that's what's <laughs> awesome. Yep. Well, what other ways can you level up your agents? Talk to us about that. So leveling up, that skills for kill system, you know, you find orbs to level up your agency, or to level up your agent. You use your firearms to level up your firearm skills. So the game is just all about, you use those skills to become better at them. And it has that crazy power curve, where you know, in the beginning you can throw a rock or a trash can, but within a couple hours you're throwing gigantic fuel trucks. All right, now we're getting close to the end of your demo here. I can see there's one minute 48 yep. remaining. I want you to talk us through everything that happens for the rest of this demo. <laughs> So I want to understand the thinking in your run here. <laughs> so right now I'm running through, I'm trying to get back to uh, the monorail station here. So again, the monorail station is owned by a different crime boss. Yeah. And I, there's a, an enforcer hardpoint there, and I know that there are a bunch of bad guys there, and that's owned by one of the major characters in the game. If I can get there, I can kill these guys. Not only can I get orbs for taking them out, but I can get orbs for actually completing this part pissing that gang boss off by right. taking out this area, and then I'm going to move on to something on, else. But you'll notice, uh, I have some crazy weapons with me. My primary, uh, so right now I have the shotgun, which is great for close range. That's people blasting off rooftops. My primary there is what we call the micro-missile launcher. Yeah. It's essentially a fully automatic assault rifle that shoots rockets. Um, Why not? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and my third slot there is, the is of course, the Singularity, which is my favorite. 
for the show floor demo, these weapons are all over the map, but they're on the rooftops. We wanted to encourage players to go up to collect right. orbs, climb up, find the crazy weapons, and these are really the keys to hitting those the, the best scores. Can you encounter a boss in, in this demo? No, so we this we just wanted to make a skills for kills challenge. We yeah. wanted players to go around and mess with the different parts of the crime bosses organization to these park points. You saw a garage that took out earlier, the monorail station. Um, we are you know, showing some more of the boss stuff in the behind closed doors, and I think you'll be seeing more of that soon. All right, something to look forward to. Right, we're in the last 10 seconds here. Can you get any more kills? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. they cut it. Yeah. Uh, I promise well. that was 26,000.